hunger in the land. <laughs> this is serious. Hunger in the land. Okay. Now, every, the Nigerians are reacting left, right, and center over what has happened now in Abuja. In Abuja, the Nema Food Warehouse. Nema is uh, Nigerian Emergency Management Agency. Okay. Has the food warehouse where they store food like a food bank. And we are now hearing that it had that warehouse had been looted with all the food items inside the place, carted away by hungry Nigerians. And people are reacting. Even government is saying that they are going, they are going to send the security operatives to watch all the food banks across the country or all the Nema warehouses across the country. I'm, I was just asking, even this one that is in Abuja, are you sure the security man is, or security people are not part of the looting? You are putting a security man that has not eaten to guide food and you expect him to keep quiet and be watching the food there, Abby, without planning how to let it loose so that he can also get his own. This country, sometimes the way they talk, it because it depends on the security man, he's hungry, he's guiding food and he will keep quiet, Abby, when he knows that when he close for work, he will have nothing to take home for the family to eat. Man, we need to sit up. So now people are reacting left, right and center. Let's see. Hoodlums break into government warehouse in Abuja, steal food items. Hoodlums broke into the government storage facility in Guagua Town in the Federal Capital Territory FCT on Sunday and looted store food items, stored food items uh, with some residents. Oh boy. So, some residents who spoke to Daily Trust said youths in their number broke into the warehouse located around Tasha area of the community around 7 a.m looting bags of maize and grain. A resident Jafar Amino said the looting continued unhindered till 9 a.m. when he spoke to our reporter. He says some residents as well as persons from neighboring Jiwa and Kamo town trooped towards the site with the intention of partaking in the loot. So he said the situation has caused a gridlock on Guagua, on Guagua Kamo road that leads to Day Day and Jabi Aziz, respectively. Amelo disclosed that he left the location with breezes <laughs> because of the stampede, I'm sure. So, another resident, Christopher Agbo, said the looters did not spare even protectors used to barricade the site as they picked everything deemed useful from the warehouse. Daily Trust recalls that the warehouse was also looted during the COVID-19 lockdown. Grain bags as well as pumping machines meant for intervention were stolen from the site by the looters. So after reading the store, the rampaging youth headed towards Idu Industrial Estate, an area that hosts warehouses owned by individuals and also government. So there was no presence of security operatives to check the attacks at the time of filing the report. But when contacted FCT police spokesperson Superintendent Josephine Adi said the police were already on ground trying to control the situation. Ah, now nah, man, this is a serious one. I must tell you the truth. So with what has happened now, everybody is reacting left, right, and center. Hunger not know anybody. Hunger not know gentleman. Hunger not know anybody. Okay, everybody can react and react the way you want to react. All I know is that hunger does not know big man, does not know small man. Hunger can make a normal person become abnormal and get mad. That is it. What are we saying? You stay inside, hunger kill you. You go outside to loot, they catch you, they kill you. All death, not death. So one something must kill a man. So 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 they have taken their destiny by their hands. That is it. And now nothing happened to them. They were able to loot successfully and empty the warehouse and left. I said they did not even loot only food. Though. Even the protectors used in fencing the place. They broke it down and took it away. That is the situation we are facing in Nigeria. The hunger has gotten to a point that even Ukraine is not donating food to the northern part of Nigeria. What a shame. I tell you the truth. So let's see some people are reacting to the situation. And somebody said, Point of correction, hungry Nigerians, not hoodlums. Exactly. They, they're just writing and say uh, uh, hoodlums. They're not hoodlums, so they are hungry people. There's no food anywhere. And so anywhere there is food, it must be taken by force, by fire. That is the truth. So they do have government in Nigeria other than advanced political criminals. That's APC. 
advanced political criminals. Sooner than later, hungry Nigerians would, wouldn't fear security officers or death anymore. The person that built Lagos don't spoil Nigeria, Abi. Now, so we say, I'm not be lying. Something like Bones Ogo and Aaron says, spoil Nigeria, and now the Iberi Bekano and Simon Eperima Epa turned it to Zoo, Abi. That's so they, so they will talk, and somebody had answered him, Your drug baron promised to fix it. I wonder what, what is waiting for concerning air, couple, and politics. <laughs> When Fulani cow is taking you, we know. Hey, no, well, okay, when Fulani cow is talking, you will know. Eh? So, government, do something now or things will get out of hand. It's already getting out of hand, not be joke. Things are already getting out of hand. These are not hoodlums, so, but hungry Nigerians. The earlier the APC advanced political criminals, eh? the earlier the APC government led by Bola Metinubu realized that hungry people are angry people the better for it to, if not, more of this will continue to happen. And that is it. So they keep telling them, these are not hoodlums, these are hungry Nigerians. They broke into the warehouse where f- hoodlums, where hoodlums stored food items. <laughs> I mean, they change the narratives now. Okay. Initially, they think that uh, the same Nigerian government stored the food, but now, and they're saying that hoodlums went to break it. But now they're saying that hungry Nigerians went to break the warehouse where the hoodlums stored the food. So reverse is the narrative. Not be yeah, not be joke. Not be joke. Okay. So it's a good job. This federal government policy is very good. Not be smart. Uh, this is what happens when a bad father abandons his children to die of hunger. They would do anything to stay alive. You call that steel. Now, wow, not be steel now. They went to carry what didn't belong to them. Who are you storing the food for? Who are you keeping the food for? Now, for Nigerians, the Nigerians are keeping the food for have gone there to take it. That is it. And there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, how say? So, that's good. Since it is government owned, it is our own. Not be lie. Uh, so, these people get mined store food for warehouse even with the present situation in the country they're not getting ahead now that was a good good that's a good one our politicians don't want peace so if you are peaceful you will not be taken seriously peaceful demonstration is not good but vicious ones exactly that will actually make them have everything hunger is in the land whether they like it or not things are bad <laughs> Allow let the, you see they don't want to revise their policies and that is why they call their policies kabu kabu policy. See they don't, they don't want to have good policy that will benefit the common man. The common man will go and meet them and they wait or without policy and do what they want to get some to survive. That is it. So thank you for listening. Last like, a comment that was what happened in Abuja.